my brothers and sisters, um, I've been watching the YouTube community and I've been very disturbed by a lot of video rebuttals that's been going on amongst us Christians. And I just want to go to the word and allow the word to speak for itself. First off, realize that we are in the last days. This is it. Satan is working harder than ever because we only have very little time left. So Satan is working real hard to bring division amongst the brethren. And um, I want us to look at real quick and Timothy, 2 Timothy chapter number 3, it says, This know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. For men should be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affect affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, head, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God. If, I, if you can go back on your own time and just look up every word, get a definition for every word, and pretty much this sums up all the sins when we think about that is against God's will. And if we sit back and just look at the YouTube community, those over the internet and you see so many people that is in violation of these scriptures. Even the people around us at our jobs, they are already fulfilling this passage. We are in the end times, brothers and sisters. Stay awake, stay watchful, stay close to God. Allow no distractions come your way. Cling close to the Holy Spirit. In um, verse number five, it says, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof from such turn away. It is very important that these people are in violation of all of these things listed, yet they have a form of godliness and they are denying the power thereof. They are denying the Holy Spirit to free them from sin. They are justifying sin or a lot of times people are talking about the end times and that's all they want to talk about is the end times. They are so focused on the end times and not focusing on their relationship with Jesus Christ. You know what I'm saying? They will miss it when it comes because they're so focused on the signs and what's going on with the end times where they are no longer having a personal and close relationship with God. One more thing I want to um, go to is in Titus. In Titus, it says in chapter 2, verse 12, or verse 11, starting there, it says, For the grace of God that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men. The grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all of us. Not one has been missed. And then it says, Teaching us that denying ungodliness in worldly lust, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. Right now is when we live godly. And to live godly is to live holy and without sin. To walk as Jesus Christ walked, as it says in 1 John 2, 6. That is how we should be living right now in this present world. Not waiting Till we die to get our glorified bodies. That is not what we're waiting for. We are living godly right now through the grace of God and the Holy Spirit that he has given those who believe. But you know what? There's a price to come with that. When you have this faith, the Bible says in 2 Timothy chapter 3, Yea, and all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. So persecution shouldn't be a surprise to you because the Bible has already re revealed it to us. They that live holy is going to suffer persecution. But what, what disturbs me the most is all these video rebuttals going on in our Christian community on YouTube. They are in violation of Titus chapter 3 verse 10 and 11. They are continuing to make video rebuttals about each other. And this is where pride 
steps in. They get puffed up and say, well, I got to do a video back at you to say, I'm right, you're wrong. This is the pride of men. And we must escape any of these arguments. Don't get involved in making videos against somebody. You continue to stay in your word, continue to stay on your knees and develop a stronger and personal relationship with our Heavenly Father and Savior, Jesus Christ. That's your focus. Don't get involved with these video rebuttals. Well, let's look at Titus chapter 3 and let's see how they are in violation. In chapter 3, verse 10, it says, a man that is a heretic after the first and second admonition reject knowing that he that is such is subverted and sinneth being condemned of himself after the first and second warning you've given your brother who refuses to obey God you are to reject them you don't go back and forth back and forth with a video rebuttal or comments going back and forth with people. That is not the will of God. You plant a seed, you move forward to reach those that have ears to hear. I pray that somebody out there will listen, receive this word, and turn away from these arguments that is going on in the Christian community and love and seek God with your whole heart. My brothers and sisters, Satan is busy. He's working hard to bring division amongst the church. And we are to escape anything that looks to be strife and divisions. That is not the will of God. The will of God is to love our brethren and sisters that are in Christ, even those that are in error. You correct them that first and second time, you move forward to those that have ears to hear. I thank you. Thank you for tuning in. I pray that you tune in for more. God bless you.